Hey everyone, my name is Omar and this is Tomico and Friends. This week we're making salmon and bacon chowder. For our mise en place, we're going to cube our potatoes. Then finely slice celery. Dice together one white onion. skin and slice four carrots. Lastly, we're going to slice our uncooked bacon into inch pieces. It's a little easier to cut our bacon when it's uncooked as opposed to when it's cooked. So we're going to cut it here instead of cutting it later. Let's work the main protein, our fish. Before seasoning or slicing our fish, I'm running my knife along the skin to remove any additional scales. From your fish department at your grocery store, they should have taken care of this, but I just want to make sure that I remove all the scales as much as I can. Flip your fish skin side down and salt. Now slice your fish into fillet pieces. Lastly, season with whatever you want. I decided to just go for a standard pepper for now. Now transfer your ingredients over to your stove. In one large pot, add your bacon and begin to cook. I cook my bacon down until it's a little crispy, but also slightly chewy. Remove from your pot and place inside of a paper towel to drain the remaining XX oil. Inside your pot, add your onions, celery, and carrots. Do not add any additional oil as you're using the oil from the bacon to saute all of your veggies. As your vegetables are cooking, remember to season with whatever seasonings you want. I recommend some salt, pepper, and Old Bay. You can even add some butter for richness. In a separate medium-sized pot, Add potatoes to boil. When your potatoes are done, do not drain the water as you're going to need that starchy water for your chowder. After about 10 to 15 minutes of cooking down your vegetables in your main large pot, add your fillets inside, two at a time. I'm nestling my fillets skin side down as if you wanted a crispy skin, you can have that. After about five to seven minutes of cooking our fillets on both sides, turning halfway in between, I place them inside of a bowl. I repeat this again for the other two fillets of salmon. As we finish our fillets, you can get one additional small pot and add some milk into it. You're going to gently warm up this milk. You don't want it to get too hot to where it boils over. You don't want it too cold. Just a nice little simmer on your milk. This will help with your chowder. Once your milk is warm, we're going to start combining everything together inside of our main pot. First, add your milk, then add your boiled potatoes along with the starchy water. Add one knob of butter, add two to three tablespoons of sifted flour into your chowder. Here you can add some more components if you would like. I added corn and then seasoned my chowder thoroughly. As the flavors of the chowder come together, turn your attention back to your fillets inside of the bowl. Carefully remove the skin if you want to remove the skin and then mash or gently break apart the salmon with a fork. You don't want super chunky pieces, but you don't want small mashed pieces. Just a little break for the salmon. Once you are done, return your salmon back into your chowder and stir. Here, we're gonna let our chowder sit for a good while. I would go for about 30 minutes to an hour just to make sure that all of our flavors come together and your chowder gets thick. You want it thick. And there you have it. Some very easy and simple salmon and bacon chowder. This tastes so freaking good. I devoured the entire soup. As always, if you like this video, give us a like and comment down below. What do you want to see us make next?
please check out our YouTube page, Tamago and Friends, where we have a lot more videos of us making delicious recipes. My name is Omar, and thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Hi, Billy Mays here, but I'm not done yet.